Hello, church family. My name is Sophie, and I'm going to be sharing um, with you today. Historically, Christians have called this day between Jesus' death and resurrection Holy Saturday. Um, I think for many of us, especially, yeah, for the last however many years, we've always, this day between Good Friday and Easter Sunday is just another Saturday. It may be a day where you do errands, get groceries, prep for your Easter Sunday celebrations. Um, but I think this isn't the story of scripture. I think we go back, when you go back and look, you see that there are some key events that go on on this day. There's not a ton, but it's very clear that this isn't just another Saturday. I think a piece of this is because we know the end of the story. We know that Jesus conquers death, that victory is won, but why not just get through it? Why not just move on? Why not get to Sunday, get to celebration, sing the joyful songs, do those things? But I think, yeah, the story of scripture clearly states that there is a pause on Saturday. There is darkness. There is, um, I think of the disciples, just like despair, like their, their leader, their master is gone. And what's next? There's a lot of tension. There's a lot of held breath. And I think that is what we are invited to today. Invited to that liminal space between death on a cross and a stone rolled away. Just as we sing songs of joy tomorrow morning, songs of celebration, which is a good thing, I think today we need to take a moment, pause, lament, and reflect on the meaning of Holy Saturday. Even now, you may find yourself in the shadowy liminal spaces of life. You may be going through something hard. You may know someone who's going through something hard. And I just encourage you not to rush from this space, not to rush through the pain, not to rush through the suffering and trust that the Savior is here walking with you, that there's grace for these spaces, for the knowing and the not knowing, for the holding of tension, for the resting, even if you don't know what is coming next. In the description below, I've shared a practice that has helped me to pause and reflect in this space, and I hope it's helpful for you. Um, we're truly excited to see you tomorrow morning at our Easter gatherings, and yeah, hope you have a really sweet Saturday.